Tonight, a Fletcher mother and former school board member continues her crusade to ban parts of a book. It's called The Kite Runner in Buncombe County Classroom. The book has been used in Reynolds High School for several years and deals with adult subjects like rape, profanity, and violence. News 13's Darren Botello spoke with the woman who says the book doesn't belong. Yeah, well, that Buncombe County parent wants to keep a few racy scenes of the kite runner out of the classroom. She says her son's teacher and the school system went over her head. Honor students at Reynolds High School were supposed to start reading The Kite Runner tomorrow. A teacher sent out this notice to parents warning of the, quote, complex and serious issues in the book with the option to not have their children read it. I feel like there should be an opt-in form, not an opt-out form. In other words, Lisa Baldwin says The Kite Runner and other books with adult content should be banned for students unless their parents give the okay. Right now, it's the other way around. That's just the policy. The policy has it that we give the opportunity for the parents to inspect the material and then say, I don't think this is appropriate uh, for my child, and then that child has an alternate book. The school board would have to change the policy, but some Reynolds parents, like Lori Kane, think that would be a waste. I just think opting in would just, how do you do that? I mean, it's like, who, want, who, who wants what meal? But Baldwin says in this case, the opt-out system didn't work. The teacher uh, did not explain uh, in her letter that there was a homosexual rape scene, that there was cruelty, violence, uh, profanity demeaning to women in the book. Baldwin says she tried to compromise by asking the school to tell the story without the X-rated material. Her compromise came in actually after we'd already uh, acknowledged that, that she'd had a, uh, she challenged the book and we'd already put into place and informed the teacher that she couldn't teach the book. Baldwin says, why even take the chance and just stick with the classics? I'm seeing that this disintegration of the quality of our children's education. Well, a committee made up of librarians and teachers and other members of the school will be meeting on May 11th to discuss this book and whether or not it returns to the classroom. At that point, Baldwin can decide whether or not she's happy with her decision. If she's not, at that point, it will go to the school board. In Buncombe County, Darren Botello, News 13.